What's up everybody, my name is T. Quay and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at three attacks from three different clans and we're going to review them. All three attacks will be Zap Lalos and the way this will work is I'm going to look at the base, I'll tell you guys how I would hit it with Zap Lalo, and then we're going to see if the, if the selected player will do the use the same plan or not. And then we'll give constructive, constructive criticism, critiquing them or whatever. Without further ado, let's get into the first attack. We are back in Green World, got our win streak up to 18 and beat this other clan. There will not be a recap for this war because they did not have the, the greatest bases, but it's the base we're going to look at, base number 25. Alright, so when I first thing I see when I'm seeing this is you can zap the enemy Archer Queen with the Air Sweeper and the Clan Castle. Might be a pretty, pretty obvious zap, but it's something worth noting. And then as to what you can get after the zap, the Town Hall is semi-exposed, but you'd have to do some pretty good funneling because of the open wall compartments that you cannot wall break in on both sides. What I would probably do is send my RC in here to clear, probably not the Eagle, but these Archer Towers, the Cannon, the Wither Tower. Send like a Baby Dragon or something here. Clear off this side of like my King, and then just send the rest of my heroes to get the Town Hall and all of this around. So then, it would be all of this area is done. So you got a clear path thing up through here. But, now that I think about it, that could be a bit awkward because of the way the enemy Archer Queen and enemy Royal Champion are set up. So maybe a better idea would be send the Royal Champion up through here, trail her with some headhunters to get rid of the enemy RC and then all of this. The Scattershot would probably be left alive, but that would be okay. Then clear this off with the King again, send heroes in, get Town Hall, everything else, boom. Slam her on the Scatter, Lalo around here, and then go through headhunters for the enemy AQ and wreck. Let's see what Clouds did. Waiting for the Archer Queen, I presume. I have not watched this attack yet. Okay, so we did the same zap that I planned. That's all that done. That clears off pretty good Lalo passing. The only issue with my plan is you would... Oh, interesting. He's starting from up there. Is you would end on the Eagle, but I don't think that would be a gigantic issue. So, this is not a terrible approach, but I don't feel like you'd get enough for your heroes, but I tend to go for a more aggressive Sui. Clouds did not invest as much as I typically do. It's, this is more of his style of attacking. Different players got diff This You know what? He got pretty good value. His, I mean, he's not going to get the Town Hall, but... Oh, shit, there's a Tesla farm there. That could have thrown off my plan a bit. Would have been interesting. So, if you look at what's next, or what's left... It's the Town Hall, which is probably, you want to get rid of that. I see he's got a Slammer, so maybe he's going to direct, yep, direct target the Town Hall, and then he's following from up through here. Clouds is a bit more of the, I don't want to say spammy, but a, what's the right word? He, his Lalo is always deployed in like the same fashion. It's like, ha, both two Hounds and the balloons are displayed, displayed, deployed, I cannot fucking talk. To target each thing, but look, headhunters on the king, and the enemy queen's already gone. So, oh yeah, I'm stupid. The enemy, qu either of my plans could have worked, I think, because I the first plan, the problem was that the headhunters would target the enemy BK, not the enemy AQ. But I forgot that you zap her. But regardless, cloud ended on the eagle, like I said I would, doing just fine, and this is overkill. Nice job, clouds. So for our second hit, we're jumping over to Man Who Found, my favorite Australian clan. They are currently in this little 10v10 all town of 13 war that, even though there's still some time left, this war is mathematically over. The attack we're looking at will be on their number 3, done by Inigo Montoya. If my Wi-Fi cooperates, here we go. Alright, so looking at this base, there is a lot more obvious zap value in the last one. You can get the enemy Archer Queen, the Inferno Tower, Scattershot, and the Clan Castle, and take out the middle of the base. That's a no-brainer. Now, how would you get the Town Hall? 
you could wall break in here because there's enough wall spaces over here to where you can just the wall breaker won't just ignore it i'm not sure what the exact number of that is i just of wall pieces needed for the wall breaker to actually target it i just visualize it so what you could do is you could just funnel this side off send rc in here with some headhunters to get the enemy rc and then just sue the town hall but there are your RC wouldn't make it very far because of these Inferno and Scattershot and plus the enemy RC. So maybe what you could do is you would... Aha, I see this. So, this looks... These, the Scattershot and the Inferno looks close enough to the Clan Castle where I think you could catch them both with an Earthquake. You wouldn't need to worry about hitting this Scattershot and the Inferno down because 7 Zaps would just kill it instantly. So if you hit these with the Earthquake, you could bring two Zaps instead of one, because the Scattershot is more in health than the Inferno, and use your Royal Champion, maybe deploy her on this Archer Tower, basically spam her ability when she kills here, so she kill, kills both the Scattershot and the Inferno Tower, clear these back buildings off, clear these off with something, send your heroes down the channel, you'll get the enemy RC if yours didn't already, and then take out the Town Hall, and then hopefully this Air Defense. What you have left is this area of the base. What I would do is send a Lava Hound in here, balloons, balloons, Lava Hound, balloons, maybe you don't need a third Lava Hound because there's only two air defenses, but basically a Lava Balloon up through here with like the Stone Slammer right here to just pick off stuff. You would be fighting the Sweeper, but I don't think it would be that big of an issue. Let's get into the replay and see what Inigo did. Shout out Princess Bride, great movie. Okay, so as I suspected, he did not do the RC scatter, RC shield ability, which, to be fair, I wouldn't really expect most to do that, because it is a very niche combo. Okay, he did the zaps that I expected. A little slow to get the zaps down. Oh, so, okay, I see, I see you, Gabe, I see you. So, what he did was he staggered the zaps to get the, get the air sweeper, which I, you could definitely, I usually do that when, but I, didn't think about it now. But yeah, that's a good play on his part. So it looks like he's going to do the first plan I suggested. Yep, Wallbreaker targets it. I don't think he needed two Ice Golems. That might be a bit overkill in my opinion. But triple's a triple. I mean, hell, if you use like a Baby Dragon here with the BKs right now, you probably didn't need any tank with this plan. With the other plan, you m probably wouldn't have needed a tank either. But that's a pretty hard thing to judge. I used to always bring an Ice Golem, sometimes even a regular Golem by default. I still do bring both of those sometimes, but it's something that I just gotta eyeball sometimes. So yeah, AQ gets the Town Hall, pop the pop the Queen ability. Usually if there's nothing else, if the Giga Inferno locks onto the AQ right away, you wanna just pop her ability, cause the, Town Hall, the Giga Inferno will force- oh shit, the balloon, Lava Balloon's starting. They get good this is good passing. He's using his RC down here to get rid of that air defense, and then he's got like a straight shot up. I missed the balloon deployment, but it looked not spammed, but kind of like similar to Cloud's deployment. Good haste spell. Um, the one thing I'm noticing that a big hole is that he did not bring headhunters to kill the enemy world champion. Similar to one of the attacks that I showed yesterday, she's close enough to the end of the raid where she wouldn't have a major effect on it, but I, s I don't think that's a great haste spell because the balloon split up, but eh, it now wound up being put to use. My bad. That's a good freeze, but anyway, you want to bring what you don't want to just rely on your balloons having enough to kill the enemy world champion. You always want to take it. You always want to bring those headhunters just just in case, but. Inigo came in with the overkill. He's got six swag balloons still. That's funny. Nice attack. For our last hit of today's video, we are going to Steeler Nation, a US-based Tunnel 13 clan that I've been playing in recently. We were going to look at the most recent war, which we unfortunately lost some percentage at the very end, but there's still a good attack from here. Well, hopefully a good attack from here. I'm assuming it's good because it's a triple that we want to look at. The base we are looking at is base number 13, Matster. So, again, I would zap the AQ because she's in that area. I'd zap her if she gets 
maybe stagger similar to what Inigo did, stagger two zaps when she gets by this air sweeper, and then the other five when she gets by here to get the expo and the expo won't die actually with the, with what I'm thinking, but it will be damaged enough and since it's a ground bow it would barely affect anything. And then I'd use I'd favor the earthquake spell down here and I'd use the balloon to kill out this mortar to remove that passing. Send the Sui RC into the Archer Tower. Eighth Zap in the Inferno in the Wizard Tower. They're already hit with the Earthquake. Spam the ability. This compartment's dead. This Builder Hut's still there, but it should not cause a problem. I'd hope. Then use like a Baby Dragon or some shit to just funnel off this side. Cut off. Ex I'd expect there to be Teslas here. Maybe cut that off with a couple of loons and a Baby Drag. And then send AQ and BK into the Town Hall. And then what's left? for the Lalo. Hmm. This isn't the greatest pathing in the world, but I've dealt we dealt with far, far worse. Actually no, yeah, that's fine. I forgot that you zapped out this middle stuff. So I would start the law balloon at this compartment. Hound in the air defense. Balloons behind. Another hound up here, balloons up here. Stone slammer at this cannon. You're gonna want to freeze this scatter shot early. Because there's, you're lolloing into both scatter shots, I would probably bring three. Um, no, you have two haste, two freeze because of the eighth zap. Never mind. But freeze a scatter shot, and then when you get through that, headhunters for the enemy RC, warden, and then the warden should hopefully carry you through this next scatter shot. And then if you don't, just freeze it, and then just pretty much just wrecked from there. Let's see what Master did. Interesting, he did not bring any free spells. Usually I wouldn't recommend that, but for, I mean, that's pretty much what I would have done with the zaps. Apparently you don't need to stagger them because I just shit at judging that. So it looks like he will be suing in the town hall, but coming in from this angle. The double ice golem is, I think it is justified here because he's leaving the single inferno tower up, but... I would use the Royal Champion because I hate to in the extra spell to get rid of the single because I hate fighting through those. Good funnel with the King. Will the RC go or AQ go in? That air defense might pull her. Oh yeah, she'll go in. That could have been ugly if she targeted the Warden statue. Like I don't recommend not bringing freezes usually. It worked out for him here, but all right, let's look at what's left of the Lalo. It's kind of a ring, which is a little bit here. I don't really like that passing, but he still has the Royal Champion up. Interesting. Master also did not bring Headhunters. We'll see how that works out. So yeah, those balloons did not need to take that damage if you would have brought a free spell up. I almost always think a free spell and a scatter shot is justified. Okay, so his Royal Champion clears the enemy Royal Champion. That is something you could do, and clearly it works because he got the triple, but that is not something that I, as a player, prefer to rely on. It's not my preference, but that Royal Champion is doing work, not gonna lie. And yeah, this is also overkill. <laughs> yep, sorry for Hayden, this worked out. Nice job, Master. Thank you all for watching today's video. This might be something I continue doing, we'll see. I just wanted to give some feedback on some other players' attacks and not just spotlight the same people, aka myself, the entire time. Thank you for watching and have a good day.